Hey guys, just a quick tutorial on how to upgrade the firmware for your E3 flasher. Uh, the original E3 flasher has a firmware that limits the amount of PlayStation 3 units you could flash to just one. If you upgrade the firmware though, you could flash as many PlayStation 3s as you want. And it's really simple to upgrade. So, let me show you how. Uh, for this, you'll obviously need an E3 flasher. And uh, you'll want it... Uh, attached to something so it could be powered up. Besides that, all you need is the uh, micro SD card with the firmware update on it and you're good to go. Uh, you could download all the update files necessary in the video description so look down below for that. Once you have your E3 flasher connected to power source, you could take your micro SD card, put it into your computer and uh, add the firmware update file onto it. Uh, you could find the file below in the video description. Just download the package called E3 Flasher All-in-One. Inside it, go to step one, and you will find the file called update bin. This is the file you want to move to your micro SD card. So go to your computer, open your micro SD, and just drag update bin over. Now that it's on the micro SD, you're ready to take it and put it into the E3 flasher. So let's proceed with that. Alright, once you have your firmware update file on your micro SD card, you want to take it and put it into the E3 flasher. How you do that is you slide, slide this little metal plate backwards, open it, take the micro SD. Place it in the proper position. And close the case on top. Slide it forward. Slide it forward. Make sure the SD card is on there real good because they tend to move around a little bit sometimes. Okay, that should do it. Now you're ready to power up. Well, no, not yet. Okay, once that is done, you're going to take your E3 flasher. And you're going to put down the first two pins, first two switches. The others will remain up. Once you got that, power up your PS3. Alright, so as you can see, the green lights came on, and then the red light came on, and then the blue light came on. That means the firmware is updating. If this doesn't happen, make sure your chip connector is uh, on real well. Once you see the blue LED is on, go ahead and press the reset button on your E3 flasher and they should all go off. Now you get power down. Pull out your micro SD card and go see if the file that was on it is gone. If it is, that means the firmware update was successful. If it's still on there, something went wrong. Okay, now let's check to see whether our firmware update was successful or not. And the way we're going to do that is by going to my computer and opening up the drive containing the micro SD card. As you can see, it's completely empty. The file we placed earlier to do the update is no longer there. What this indicates is that our firmware upgrade was successful.